in every town and in every city. The governor says that we need to build these low-income housing units so that our young people will stay in New Jersey to help build a better economy. Low density, high income, low density, uh, a high density, low income housing. So that our young people will stay here to help build our economy. And I think to myself, yeah, I, I can't wait for the day my daughters graduate college to move into a government funded low income housing project. <laughs> you know, my grandparents came here from Italy in, uh, in 1917 and 1920. And, you know, they never expected the government to give them a housing unit. They came here with just, at the time, as most immigrants did, with just the shirts on their back, and they went to work. And they worked hard. It took my grandfather 15 years to save enough money after being in this country to buy his first home, something he's very proud of. And that's what America is about. Now they believe that somebody walked us into New Jersey and the tax bill will provide them housing. And, they, and we owe it to them, by the way. That's not the American dream. And that's not what ownership is about. You know, outside of Trenton, New Jersey, is a sign that says, Trenton makes the world pay. I mean, that was the motto adopted by Trenton at the time of manufacturing powerhouse in 1910. In that year, 10% of America's population lived within 75 miles of Trenton, New Jersey. As our nation's economy exploded and as, uh, as people flocked in from all around the world seeking to, be to have that opportunity, the marketplace met the needs of this growing demand for housing in a number of ways. Through townhouses and apartment buildings, through mansions, through trailer parks, through uh, the senior homes that came out in the 1920s. We still have some of them in the building. The innovation of America met the demands of the housing market. Suddenly today, the governor has decided that we can't supply our own housing any longer. That we, we need the government to tell us what to do and how to do it. That there's some geniuses up in Trenton that know what's better for Williamstown and what's better for Deathsburg than we do. They tell us that each town has to have their share of these units because so-called low-income people, but there's a lot of politics in this house, have to have access to the jobs in all these places. <coughs> Well, if they were smart, they'd understand that most people commute to work, and there are no jobs in most of these small towns. This is the most left-wing, liberal, fanatic program in the nation, and it needs not to be reformed, but to be stopped completely. And as governor, I will line out and veto funding for COA, and I will put a ballot question on the ballot to amend the Constitution to overturn the Mount Laurel decision and the whole COA decision.
before the Apple decision, before this funding debacle. This system is a complete miserable failure, and it does not work, and it must be stopped. And I have a solution. And if there's one thing I will accomplish in office, this is the one thing I will choose, and I will accomplish it. If those school systems cannot provide a quality education to those children with the same amount of money that you spend in Williamstown or you spend in Pagoda, then they should be required to give a voucher to the parents of those children so those parents can give them